Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on bilinear transformation part 3. In the first part, we see the definition of bilinear transformation, formulas and a simple problem. And then part 2, we did few more problems. Let us have a quick recap. In the first problem, we have one infinity at the given z values and one infinity in the w value. So, eliminating the term which consists of infinity, we get the simplified formula. In this formula, we substitute the remaining values and we get the relationship w is equal to a z plus b divided by c z plus d. Next, we saw the second problem which consists of only one infinity at w and then we solve the problem. And the third problem, we saw the infinity at z. Then we have seen we get like w plus 5 divided by w minus 3 in the left hand side. Now to get the final w I said just do cross multiplication and then get the answer w is equal to a z plus b divided by c z plus d. In today's session we are going to take the points in z plane as minus 2 0 2 maps into 0 i minus i. So none of the points have infinity. So all the 8 terms we have to use and simplify and we get the solution. Let us go into this problem. As usual record the given data because it is very important. So step 1 gets over. Step 2 write the formula. Now since none of the points have infinity substitute all the 6 points. Substituting we get w into 2i in the denominator i into w plus i. Right hand side minus 2 z plus 2 in the denominator we have 2 divided by z minus 2. Now I can cancel this i as well as 2. See students, I want w in the left hand side. We get 2w divided by w plus i is equal to minus z plus 2 divided by z minus 2. So to get the final answer in terms of w, just do the cross multiplication and simplification. Simplifying this, we get 2w z minus 4w. Right hand side we have to simplify. Now our aim is to get w to the left hand side and the remaining terms to the right hand side. So now multiplying this w we get minus w of z plus 2 then plus i into z plus 2. So 2w z minus 2. I can take this w to the other side. The minus will become plus w into z plus 2 is equal to minus i z plus 2. Now taking the w outside from this two terms. Now simplifying this, we get w into 2z minus 4 plus z plus 2 is equal to minus i z plus 2. Now simplifying further, we get 3z minus 2 minus i into z plus 2. Therefore, w is equal to minus i into z plus 2. In the denominator, we get 3z minus 2. We can stop here. We don't want to simplify further because it is of the form w is equal to a z plus b in the denominator we have c z plus d that's it students now if you want you can do the final verification so substituting the point z that is minus 2 corresponding w1 we can get minus 2 plus 2 it is 0 0 divided by anything is 0 so we get 0 similarly when i substitute the z value is 0 then we get w2 that is substituting the value of z as 0 we get minus 2i in the numerator and then minus 2 in the denominator we get i and finally substituting the z value as 2 we get w3 that is 2 plus 2 4 minus 4i in the numerator and in the denominator 3 into 2 6 6 minus 2 is 4 so we get minus i therefore my final answer is correct we do the justification okay let us go into the next problem here c the points in the z 0 1 infinity w r i 1 minus i now we have one infinity good but the infinity is in the 
z point so anyway i'll get two w's that is one in the numerator and one in the denominator i have to tackle the problem let us go into the problem first write the given data and then write the formula since z3 is infinity i can omit the z3 part from the formula rewriting it we get the following form now substitute all the remaining values of z and w in this formula and simplifying this we get the solution now substituting this we get w minus i into 1 minus of minus 1 plus i in the denominator w minus w3 that is minus minus into minus plus so w plus i then w2 is 1 W1 is i. So W minus i into 1 plus i in the denominator W plus i into 1 minus i. In the right hand side we have z minus 0 in the numerator and in the denominator we have 1 minus 0. Now we have to simplify this. W minus i into 1 plus i divided by W plus i 1 minus i is equal to simply z. Now I want the final answer as w is equal to a z plus b divided by c z plus d so i want only one w but we have two w's in my problem and also see the pattern i said we have w minus i in the numerator and w plus i in the denominator in this case i can use that component to dividend to rule so it is very easy to simplify the problem for this i have to keep only the term consisting w in the left hand side and push all the other terms to the right hand side i can apply common to dividend to rule no change in it but if there is some possibility to simplify my right hand side then i can get the answer very easily see here z into 1 minus i divided by 1 plus i we try to make the denominator as a simple real number for this i can multiply and divide by 1 minus i because a plus ib into a minus ib is a square plus b square so we have 1 plus i into 1 minus i is 1 square plus 1 square because here this i square will become minus 1 minus into minus plus the standard formula a minus b into a plus b is a square minus b square when this i comes we have i square that will become minus 1 minus into minus we get plus so this is going to be z into 1 minus i whole square denominator 1 plus 1 now a minus b whole square 1 square plus i square minus 2i in the denominator we have 1 plus 1 2 so z into i square is minus 1 1 minus 1 minus 2i divided by 2 now this 1 and 1 get cancel we have minus 2i into z in the denominator 2 so 2 2 get cancel we have i z divided by 1 this is the most simplified version now i can apply the component to dividend to rule just we have a recap if a by b is equal to c by d then we can write this as a plus b divided by a minus b is equal to c plus d divided by c minus d here also there is a restriction provided a minus b not equal to 0 similarly c minus d also not equal to zero if they are zero then the condition violates so now i am going to take this term as a and this is b minus i z as c and 1 is d so we get w minus i plus w plus i in the numerator in the denominator w minus i minus w plus i right hand side minus i z plus 1 in the denominator minus i z minus 1 so now it is very easy to see i can cancel minus i plus i and when you do this case whatever it is cancelling in the numerator the remaining terms will get cancel in the denominator here i can cancel w and minus w so we get w plus w 2w here minus i minus i and now i can rewrite this as 1 minus i z and i will take this minus outside 1 plus i z in the left hand side i can rewrite this as 2w divided by minus 2i 1 minus i z divided by minus of 1 plus 
i z now 2 2 get cancel and minus minus get cancel we get w by i is equal to 1 minus i z divided by 1 plus i z taking the i to the other side w is equal to i into 1 minus i z divided by 1 plus i z this is my final solution suppose you want further simplification you can just multiply the i inside i minus i square into z we know i square is minus 1 Denominator as usual, one plus i z. So I can rewrite this as w is equal to i minus of minus. We can simplify further. W is equal to i minus of minus one into z because i square is minus one divided by one plus i z. So minus into minus plus. I can write the z term first. Plus z plus i divided by one plus i z. So this is my final answer. This is also correct. and the simplified version is also going to be correct so we get the relation w is equal to a z plus b divided by c z plus d now if you want you can go and verify with your e z hope you understand students thanks for watching hope you found this video helpful subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends see you in the next video bye bye